Good morning. How are we? Um, oh, in and out of focus. Today, I'm actually really excited. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, then welcome. We are starting off without a coffee this morning. So, bear with me, please. I have been using this towel, which is like a microfiber towel from Naughty, and I feel like it's so much better than using a regular towel. As you'll have seen from the title of this video, we are going to unbox the new air styler from Bondi Boost, which is actually still in the box. Um, I haven't taken it out. Thought we could, oh, thought we could have a look together. Oh, this looks exciting. I don't know how many there's, there's loads of these um just these things. I feel like they're gonna go everywhere. Uh oh. This is how it comes packaged. It's very nice. So we've got an angle dryer, a smoothing concentrator, an air wrap curls, round brush, and a volumizing round brush. Oh, I think it comes with a bag as well. Love me a bag. Let's open her up. For looks that last, it says. How exciting. Have I got any scissors? I don't think I have. Oh, I have a no. Look how nice this is for going away. This is like, if you're going on holiday or anything, or even just for a night away, this is the only thing that you'd need to bring with you. This is amazing. Oh, okay, this is great. Right, so we've got, if you can see, you've got a little compartment here, which has got some things in. This can hang up. We've got the body of the air styler. Okay, so it looks like you've got control settings here and then your heat settings here as well. The packaging's really nice, it's really nice and soft. A little instruction manual then as well, but obviously I don't want to use that. So this is the big air styler, which is very similar to their blowout tool, which I also have. So I would say that that's pretty much the same size. And then you also have just a smaller one, maybe if you're doing like your fringe or something. Or your fringe. This is the one to help with frizz. So just put that one for straightening. And then the other ones, it seems, are in here. Two. Okay, so they're the same. So one's for. That one's for the right direction and left direction. This is very new to me because I don't have a Dyson. Um, and I've never used any like anything similar, so that's interesting. I definitely want to try this, so I'm going to leave these out, and I think we can just like rough dry our hair with just this, maybe. Oh, I missed the compartment. Oh my goodness, she's in there, real toys. What's this one? Okay, so this one's to rough dry it. So we're going to stick this one on if I can. So there's like a little. I don't know if you've seen that like a little ridge in there for you to click it in and on, maybe. I don't know. I should probably read the instructions now. Yeah. Bear with. Right, the instructions said you just need to twist and lock it, so maybe I'm just being a bit too gentle. But... Is that on? No. Oh, I was being too gentle. Okay, so that's in now. Right, let's plug this bad boy in. And let's have a play. Let's see noise-wise. Okay, so we've got an on and off switch here at the back. Okay. So that's on the lowest thing. Medium. Highest thing. So I'm going to quickly blow dry my hair and I will let you listen to some music so you're not listening to the hair dryer. But first things first is heat protection spray. I actually have some from Bandai Boost already. This is the one that I use. They have sent another one in the box, which I think is like a coconut fragrance or something. I'm not too sure. But I don't like to have multiple things open. Like I like to have this and then finish it and then open something else. 
Yeah, so limited edition coconut heat protection spray. <laughs> This is really light and my other um, hair dryer that I use on a daily basis is this one and it's basically like a hairdresser's one. It's really, it's really loud and it's, I'll show you. Like it goes, it's super, I never use it on the full one. But that's a diva one and it's, that's really quite heavy compared to this one. So this one's a lot nicer to like do your hair with so yeah i'm gonna finish off drying the rest of my hair my hair is pretty much rough dried it's still a little bit damp towards the end actually but that should be okay if we're gonna style the rest so i think i'm gonna section my hair into two i normally do like three when i'm curling my hair but i have hopes that this is somehow going to be quicker. Get my new little pink clip out. Okay, smashing. Oh, be careful of this because this is quite hot. When I'm curling my hair, oh gosh, we look a bit crazy right now, don't we? When I'm curling my hair, I like to curl it away from my face. So, if we're doing this side, it needs to be to the right. To the right. So, if we put this one in first. Oh, right, and then I've literally like never used this before, so I'll see it. That's what we have to do. Right, let's try it again. Smaller sections. So we've established that smaller sections is definitely better. Let's do the other side now. So I'm going to have to unclick this one, which again, you have to be very careful because they get quite hot. Right, let's do the other side then. easy this is to use. I'm gonna, I think after a bit of oil and some hairspray and brushing that through that's gonna look really cute. But let's do the top section now. 
think I'm gonna spray a little bit more in the can. currently look like something out of the 80s um but let's try and fix that now i am so impressed that how quickly it can curl your hair that's crazy but we need to we need to figure this out because this is too much so i'm going to go in with an oil um and this one is the 44 it's a bit of a mess because i'm running out and i use it quite a lot so we'll just go in with an oil first of all and tame some frizz, add some shine. I don't know if it's a brush this now or not. Shall I brush it? I think I should brush it. Have we got any hairspray? Let's get rid of some. I was just thinking, I thought I saw somewhere that you should probably brush it through the wide tooth comb and I, I do have one but I have no idea where it is. That hairspray stinks. Right, let's... Okay, it's calmed down a little bit, hasn't it? It's not too much. I still, this... I mean, for my first go, I don't think that's too bad, is it? I don't know. <laughs> Let me know if I'm doing something wrong. If any of you have, like, a Dyson or something similar. Let me know. I might just go back in and try and fix this. And maybe this, maybe a bit of this, and see. Hold on. <laughs> what I'm going to do is just maybe like tame it down a little bit with my straighteners up here, just so it's less, so it, so it's smoother. I'm not going to ruin the curls, but I saw my hairdresser do this as well. Um, before he curled my hair, he like straightened the roots first. So I'm going to out too. It seems to be very concentrated and bouncy, like here. Like there seems to be just like loads of volume here. I think I might need a couple of goes on this and trying to figure it out. What is that? Oh no. But um, I am really impressed with it. Yeah, I think what I might do is I might just go in with this a little bit and just. Control it down a little bit, I think it's just too much I feel like all this bit's dropped out see my hair's quite heavy and thick maybe I need to turn it and I only on the heat I only had it on medium heat rather than like hot heat and medium air so maybe we could do with changing that up let's do that okay I think I'm happy with it now it looks super cute and I'm honestly like I said I'm so surprised at how quick you can curl your hair now and it just kind of wraps it all for you. It's amazing. But if anybody has any tips or tricks on how to kind of perfect it, then let me know. We got there in the end. <laughs> Thank you so, so much for watching, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.